There are lots of places in the UK where you can go to find out more about the Women's Auxiliary Air Force. And some of them are the kind of big museums that we think about. The Imperial War Museum is fantastic. It's got multiple sites. So the London site is a good place to learn about the Second World War in general to give you that context um, and some information on the roles that women played um, and the Special Operations Executive. But also the Duxford site, the Air Museum, um, they've got an actual operations room there. Um, so you can you can see that big central map table that we all see in the pictures um, and they've got a very good kind of simulation to show you what it would have been like. It's very atmospheric. So that's a fantastic place to go to learn more about what the WAF did and how it would have felt on a daily basis. And obviously, you know, never pass up an excuse to hear a Spitfire flying overhead. Um, but there are some also smaller museums that are absolutely brilliant for providing more background, more information on the WAF. I think Bentley Priory, which was actually the headquarters of fighter commander in the Second World War, is a really good place for coming to understand the Dowding system, the integrated air defence system in which many WAF worked. Um, they have the actual rooms in which these people would have worked with lots of fascinating um, objects and maps and things that you can look at. Very, very good museum. Um, and then there's the Battle of Britain bunker in Uxbridge, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a bunker, it's underground, so quite atmospheric again. And there's an actual operations room in there too, um, which is very handy for helping to kind of provide an idea of what this system was, um, how it functioned and the role that WAF played within it. And it's actually a really good idea to go to Bentley Priory first and then Uxbridge's bunker because you can get that sense of how they connect to each other and how the system kind of worked as a whole. Um, and then there's the Royal Air Force Museum, which has lots of aircraft, but also some more information on sort of what happens in the background in air operations um, and the role of women kind of through time. So it's interesting to go to the Royal Air Force Museum maybe last. Um, so you can kind of look at context in terms of, of how things moved on from what happened in the Second World War. Um, I think that is a, a really nice way of kind of bringing it up to date, you know, what it, what happened in the Second World War, the way that it kind of evolved to what we see and do now in, in aerial warfare.